All right, so we're gonna do some more how to draw. I know you guys have been liking this so far. We are gonna do some river animals, and we are gonna start with one that you might have noticed that we skipped over when we did ocean, and I did that on purpose because I don't think a lot of people realize that there are a lot of species of dolphins that live in rivers. So we are going to do the Amazon River Dolphin because they are super cute and they are often pink or partially pink and that just makes them kind of fabulous in my opinion so we're gonna draw them all right so we are gonna start with an oval like that then we are going to take this curved line at the top and we're just gonna keep following that and just go right past the oval. So we're gonna go like that. We're gonna do the same thing at the bottom, just follow this line and then just go straight and bring them kind of together like that. And then we're gonna do a circle right here. Well, more of an oval. We're gonna do an oval <laughs> right here. And they have a mouth. Not all dolphins have this portion here. That's one thing that we tend to recognize dolphins for, despite the fact that not all of them have that. We're going to kind of darken these, these lines right here and erase the inside. Now we've got a decent chunk of dolphin here, and they have this dorsal fin. So we're going to do a triangle up on top here, and then we're going to do a curved line at the bottom of this triangle to connect it in. We're going to curve the top of the triangle, and then bring it straight back down like that. Alright. Now... His fin is kind of in the water, so we don't have to worry too much, but we're just going to do kind of, it's just going to look like, like a little loop, very tall U. And then we're going to bring that up like that, because you can't really see most of his fin. Now if you could, you'd probably see the rest of it kind of coming out like that, but there's a whole bunch of splashing, so it's hard to tell. Now his bottom fin is going to be similar to this, but it's going to be a little bit thinner and longer. So we're going to do a curved line and a curved line in like that. Now this fin right here is the same shape, but this flat part here is actually separated. It's only connected in one spot. So this spot right here is connected. We're going to do a curved line and a curved line, and then we're going to do a harsh line right here too, because only right here is actually connected, so this is what's casting that shadow there. Alright, now they've got this nice big smile here. So I'm going to go up like that, and then an eye up on top right here. Then you can go ahead and add some shadows along his belly. Just like that. And the reason why we always picture dolphins as having this nose here is because the most a uh, well-known species of dolphin is called a bottlenose dolphin, and they've got that nice big nose. I'm going to add some shading along right here. And kind of in a little triangle along his eye, because it does curve in a little bit on his eye, so it casts a bit of a shadow there. We're going to add some shading on his fin right here. And we're actually going to erase most of this line here. And instead do a light shadow right there because the sun is actually catching more of right here than it is on the top of its back there and there we go 
we have an Amazon River Dolphin. Now part of the reason these are so fun to draw, like I said, is because they are pink. So have a little fun with it. Maybe make him a crazy color. I want to see what kind of crazy colors you make your dolphins. Send us pictures. Maybe somebody will make me a purple dolphin. I know you guys know that's my favorite color. <laughs> All right. Now our next one is a little bit harder, and this one is a hippopotamus. A few of you might have seen the uh, animal facts videos that I have going, and I do have one on hippopotamus. They are, in my opinion, so adorable with their like Shrek looking ears and big pudgy faces. They're so cute, but they are super dangerous as well. But they're also very fun to draw. So we're gonna start great big oval like this. Cause they're big. And then we are going to do a little oval here like that. And if this right here is his chest, you would have an oval here and an oval here. And that's the top parts of their legs here. Now this other one would have an oval back here, but you can't really see it. It's just a leg coming out right here. But this way it helps us size out where his neck is going. So his neck is going to come down in between these two because his neck is right between his shoulders, just like us, right? Now, we're going to do a circle right here, and then we're going to do an upside down heart below that circle. So we're going to go like that. Not, don't, you don't have to quite connect the lines here. And then I am actually going to go through and erase some of the lines inside the head here because we've got lots and lots of lines going on in there, right? I'm going to erase in between. So now we've got this kind of weird shaped head, right? So now I'm going to do some curved lines connecting the bottom part and the top part of the head here. And then you can go in and you can erase some of this as well. But we are going to have shadows that follow these lines, so you don't have to erase it completely. And then we're going to do a line across here, and we're going to shadow that like this. We're going to do some nostrils like this. So then let's go back to the rest of the body here. We've got his neck. So this was the center of his neck, remember? So the back of his neck is going to come up like that. And then we've got the curve of his head right here. And we're going to kind of do a little curve at the top there because he's got lots of little wrinkles going on here. And we're going to do a little loop right here so that we have more wrinkles coming off. Now this part is his actual leg, so we're going to take the bottom part right here, and then we're going to bring that straight down. And then do a little, little curve at the bottom, because their feet are almost like that shape, if that makes sense. We're going to bring this straight up to match here. And we're going to add some little lines because he's got wrinkles where his arms meet too, right? Now this back leg is curved, so we're just going to go like this here. You don't see all of it, so we're just going to kind of fade it out into that other leg. And then back here, his belly is going to be pretty prominent on this back leg. It's going to go up until a little over halfway through the back leg. And then we're going to have an angled line, a straight line. And then this part right here, we're just going to do a 
slightly curved but mostly straight line down like this and do the same shape for the foot like that take this back leg we're gonna do an angled line and then we're gonna do a, a mostly straight but add an angled line here right this like this <laughs> we're gonna do angled line angled line and then these feet and then you can add little triangles for his his toes he's got kind of toenails on these feet that are triangle shaped like that and this one's be like that. Okay. And then we can we can go up here and erase some of these lines here so that it looks a little less busy. Then add in shading instead. So we're gonna do shading on this half of his leg. We're gonna have shading on the top like this, and then going down both sides of this leg. You can do some little shading kind of coming up from the toes, just little scribble lines like this coming up from each of his toes. Do some shading on his belly. Well, I absolutely did not erase all of the lines yet, did I? <laughs> there we go. Do some shading on these little lines that are on his neck and then some shading on his legs and now this back leg is the one that's super shaded so you can shade that quite a bit now remember i said we were going to shade on these lines for this heart shape that comes up so we're going to follow that shape and then just curve and kind of follow this shape here curve like that and shade curve. And we're gonna do, he's got one eye kind of right here, so we're gonna darken that a little bit. And he's got one eye kind of right here. So we're gonna do kind of like a little diamond shape, color it in. And then we're going to do some shading around that eye like this. We're going to do some shading. He's got kind of like a small M on his forehead like this. Little bumps like that. And then he's got his kind of Shrek ears coming up where they're just like a little nubbin. Just like that. And you can shade the edges of those too if you want. Do a little line down there and do some shading on his nostrils. And you can add some little lines from his his rolls. He's got lots of extra skin. said that there are a lot of species of dolphins that do not have a nose. Now this is technically not a dolphin but it is a close relative and it'll kind of give you an idea of what they look like when they don't have a nose if you were curious. Um, but this is a finless porpoise so we are going to draw him. He's got a super cute little happy smile so I figured he'd be fun. And he lives in the Yangtze River. So we're going to start with a circle like that. And we're going to add curved triangle like that. And I'm actually going to make mine a little wider because I want it to go to the top of this circle here. Then we are going to shade 
all along the bottom of this circle piece and going up the side like this. my line there. <laughs> We're going to do some shading down his spine like that. And we get to see his tail real nice and up and close. So we're going to kind of extend this triangle to a point and then we are going to add a triangle like this. And then we are going to, at the top of this point in this triangle, we're going to kind of do a little almost like the set the middle section of an M where it dips in like that um, and erase that line and then we're just gonna curve the edges of this triangle like that and then we are going to bring it down just like that and then we can add some shading along his belly then we're going to add his fins over here. Remember when we were drawing the dolphin and I said that it was only connected in one spot and that there was this other piece that we had to draw that was not connected. Now we can see that real well. So we are going to make a triangle shape like this. And then we are going to take this flat line here and we're going to make it a curved line like that. Erase that flat line. We're gonna have the top of this triangle. We're gonna just make this a little bit, a little squiggle line like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Have another triangle over here. Make this a curved line and a squiggle line. And connect it just like that. And his front fins are pretty shaded, so we're gonna. Looks like most of the light is coming from over here, so with the way that his fins are angled, we're seeing shadows on this side. Just like that. Alright, so we've got this shading along right here. We're going to do another little layer of shading that's just along this bottom piece here. And then right in the middle of this circle, we are going to do a little, almost like a little upside down U like that. Then we are going to extend that line out like this. And then do a little line up on each side. Just like that. Then he's got little eyes, one over here, one over here. And do some shading around his eyes. And then we can add a little bit of shading. And like an upside down U right here because he's got a bit of a lump on his head right here so that's casting a shadow. And then the top of his head is a little bit lumpy as well so I'm gonna instead of having the circle line here I'm gonna just kind of move it up a little bit so he looks like he's got that lump on his head. Just like his front fence his back tail is pretty well shaded too so let's do that too. There we go. One finless porpoise. And as you can see, he does have fins, but he does not have that dorsal fin that dolphins usually have and a lot of porpoises have. That would be up here like that. So that's what they mean when they say finless. He does have these two fins and a tail fin, so. So this one is super fun. Some of you might have actually seen one of these. They live in Minnesota, especially in large lakes. Um, and they look like they'd be super ferocious. They look a little bit like sharks sometimes when you see them up close. They come in a variety of different shades. 
um, but they actually have no teeth and they eat mostly things like worms. So they are not super dangerous, but these are lake sturgeon and they are actually really, really cool. So we're going to do a long skinny oval like that. And we are going to make it come to a bit of a point at the front here. But it's going to be kind of flat at the bottom and angled at the top like that. But we're going to round off that point almost like that dolphin nose. Now this guy has whiskers down below. How funny is that, right? Whiskers like a cat. They use that to sift through the detritus, which is the gravel, soil, sand, uh, all that stuff that collects at the bottom of lakes. They use the, those whiskers to kind of sift through and find the little stuff that they can eat. So you're going to go about a third of the way in here and you're going to do a little loop just like that. And then you're going to do another loop on the other side facing the other way that's a little bit smaller like that. Then we're going to put a triangle attached to that loop. And we're going to do a little triangle coming off of that loop. And we're going to round off the edges of these triangles here. It's not super pointy, it's a little bit rounded. And this one we're actually just going to erase this line right here because it all connects in. And then you can add in some little lines on these fins. And you can make this kind of a swoopy, curvy fin. Then in the back, so his tail is curved, so that's why he's got his fins kind of coming up like that. And we're going to do a little swoopy curvy line and a straight line. It's going to be kind of a smaller version of this right here, those little fins. And another little triangle. We're going to shade these back triangles because those are fins on the other side of his body showing through there. extra lines. So now this is the part where these guys get really fun. Now these guys can live a very long time. We're not actually positive how long they can live. Just like a lot of sea turtles, we don't really know because we haven't been studying them long enough to, to find out because as long as we've been studying them, there have been some that are still alive. So they can live 80 years, 100 years possibly. So we, we don't really know. Um, and what's really cool is when they're babies, they have those ridges. You can see that they're kind of got these ridges on their back. He's not super smooth. He's got some kind of ridges along right here. So you can add little spikes to him. He's got all these cool little spikes on him. But if you want, you can keep them completely smooth because once they get to full size, they're very, very, very smooth. And the reason why is because they don't have any actual predators other than humans. They don't have any predators once they're full grown. So they don't need the protection of these spiny scales anymore. Um, the reason they don't really have any predators, I'm just adding an eye here and some shading. The reason that they do not have any predators is because they get huge absolutely huge. Um, if you ever see videos of people catching a quote-unquote river monster, a lot of the time it's one of these guys. Sturgeon get to be bigger than people. Um, and they look like they'd be terrifying, but like I said, they have no teeth. And one of the main reasons that they are actually starting to dwindle in numbers and it's illegal to take them into another country or anything like that. The reason why is because they are hunted for their eggs, which sounds really weird. But if you have ever heard of caviar, which is a 
fancy, fancy term for people eating fish eggs. This is the type of fish that they get caviar from. So that's why they're being overfished and why it's illegal to take them into certain areas. So you can actually, if you go up to the aquarium up north by Lake Superior, they have four uh, Russian sturgeon up there that got taken from someone who was trying to take them into the country illegally. And they are really cool because depending on where you get them, like the lake sturgeon around here tend to be kind of gray and a little bit lighter. And then the ones that the Russian sturgeon tend to have like black and white patterning on them. They're really cool. They all look different, but they're all very similar. So, but they're fun animals. Plus they've got whiskers. Who doesn't like whiskers? Anything with whiskers is probably gonna be kind of cute. Like this guy. This guy's got lots of whiskers. This guy is a river otter. And they're a little bit like river mouse puppies. I don't know how to explain them. They're adorable. Um, but we are gonna draw one of these guys. So we're gonna start with an oval up here. We're gonna add an oval right here. And we're gonna add an oval right here. It's gonna make kind of a zigzag like that. Then we're gonna add a circle at the bottom. We're gonna add a circle in between. And we're gonna add a circle in between. Just like that. Okay. All right, now we're gonna take the edge of this circle and we're gonna darken it and we're gonna bring it up to the tip of this oval like that. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so that we have this darker shape right here. We're gonna follow this line down and darken it. We're gonna outline the top right here and darken it like that. Then we're gonna make a little bit of a curved line connecting these two and then just follow that oval, follow the outline of the circle, and then we're gonna stop right there. Then we're gonna take the outline that we have right here from this oval, and we're gonna start up here and we're gonna follow that and stop. Then we are going to take this part right here and we're going to add a little curved line and a little curved line like that. You with me so far? Now, because it's super chaotic, we're going to erase a bunch of these extra lines. All right. Now, right here, we're gonna have a kind of straight line coming down like that. We're gonna have almost like if you were drawing a triangle, but don't connect to the edges. And then we're gonna do the same thing right here from this straight line. We're gonna have a triangle like that, but don't connect the edges. We're not going to have to worry too much about his back feet because he's in water right here. So it's mostly just a lot of shadow right here. But his front feet are on a rock. So we're going to draw, he's got some big wicked claws. So now these guys are the guys that are known for like holding hands while they sleep. And they're so cute, so you can draw some really wicked claws on them. But, despite the fact that they are super, super cute and adorable, they are actually very dangerous. They are carnivores. They are fully capable of causing damage to people. They look like cuddly puppies. Do not try to cuddle them. They are not cuddly puppies. Um, it's kind of like if anyone has seen, there's a kid's movie that has an otter in it that attacks a jaguar in the movie and the jaguar is super scared because even though the otter is really little he's ferocious and everyone's surprised because they're like oh but he's just a tiny little otter and everyone's like yeah but i mean he's still a carnivore <laughs> um 
So then this line right here, we're gonna shade that just like this. And then we're gonna take this curved line here and we're gonna shade that. We're gonna shade this line and this whole back leg here. And we're gonna shade the bottom of his foot too, just like that. We're gonna take this line right here and we're gonna do some shading a little triangle right there. We're going to take this right here, kind of where that circle would have met this oval here, and we're going to shade a little triangle right there. And we're going to take from right here, where these two lines meet, the line for his belly and the line for his leg, and we're going to extend that out straight and shade all of this. And we're going to shade up his back end there and we're gonna have his little tail coming down into the water here. They've got a nice long tail so you can have it kind of fading into the water and it'll color or paint all of your water along right here. Now we're gonna shade the under part of his jaw here and we're gonna give him a great big black puppy looking nose up here. And we're going to give him little eyes. And he does have little ears like this. Kind of like a rounded triangle. And then we are going to do some shading around his eye. Some shading around his ear. And then we're going to do kind of a circle like this. Very lightly. And do some shading along that. And what that is, is from the front, they've got a nose like this, and then they've got a mouth like this. So kind of like if you're drawing a puppy, they've got these big, almost like jowls, big, big front part of their mouth, and that's what you're seeing right here. And that is where all of their whiskers are. So then you can draw a whole bunch of whiskers. They've got so many, and they're so cute. There you go. One otter. Otterly adorable. <laughs>